Now in this lecture we will discuss about a uh, concept of strings in C programming. So first of all, uh, what is meant by a string? So a string is nothing but a sequence of characters uh, which are enclosed in the double quotes and uh, every string will have the last termination character as null character in C. Okay. Suppose uh, I am considering a sample string like hello which is enclosed inside double quotes. Okay. And uh, every string will be enclosed uh, with a terminating character called null. So this is a null character which automatically gets appended at the end of the string. Okay. So let me consider uh, a small example here. Uh, so generally you can write like this uh, character data type. String is a sequence of characters which are enclosed inside double quotes. Now I am considering F name as the name of the string and the size is 4. So now here we can also write uh, like this uh, after declaring you can write uh, f name equal to character by character you can initialize like uh, 2 okay now Let's see how this is going to be stored here. So there are totally three characters uh, in this particular string and you can observe uh, all these three characters one, two, three. Okay. But at the end you will see there is a null character. Okay. The first character is T, second character is uh, W third character is O and last one is null character okay so if you observe uh, these characters are stored using uh, ASCII code so if you look at uh, here these are all characters that you see but uh, they are internally represented with the help of ASCII code T corresponding ASCII code is 116 so W ASCII code is 119, O ASCII code is 41, okay, and null character ASCII code is 0. So this is how the underlying representation, okay, will be. Now, if you consider overall uh, the general syntax of uh, writing any string, the general syntax will be like this general syntax or format of writing a string can be like this char str of size okay so you can observe here uh, str is the name of the string and this is representing the size of the string and of course all the characters uh, are stored right so this is under character data type and now if i consider an example here uh, like char message of 10 so this represents uh, message is the name of the string and uh, 10 is the size of the string uh, where you can store maximum of nine characters because uh, uh, you need one space for us uh, it's corresponding null character termination string okay now you can also use uh, basically printf statement to display this particular string after initialization okay suppose uh, uh, for this example okay let us consider uh, I'm considering an array like this okay f name 
of 6 f name of 6 is equal to I'm writing a Tom Tom as the name okay so if this is the case uh, you can see how this will be stored inside uh, the string okay so the first character will be T and the second character will be O and the third character will be M and subsequently you can see there are uh, three contiguous memory locations uh, overall you can observe uh, size is 6 right so this is going to be F name of 6 memory location so this is F name of 1 this is 2 3 4 and 5 now this must be representing a null character here this is a null character and this is also a null character this is also a null character okay so if you are initializing uh, only three characters uh, for a string uh, which is capable of storing up to six characters uh, as the size is six so in all the remaining locations it will consider null character okay so now uh, let's consider how to read strings. So we generally declare strings and uh, after that we want to store some data into the strings. Okay, when you are uh, required to read this uh, string at runtime, so you can make use of these functions like uh, scanf function can be used to read the string. And second one is uh, get s function can be used to read the string. And third one is uh, you can use uh, get char. So there are other functions which are similar to get char like get ch, uh, okay, like this. But uh, let us go for uh, get char or get ch, okay. So general representation will be similar here. Now, first coming to scanf, how do you basically make use of a scanf statement in order to read this string? Okay, so let's uh, see here. First one is uh, scanf. So, to read this, uh, consider an example char str of 10. Okay. Now I am prompting the user to basically enter this string. So enter any string. So once the user enters the string, it must be stored inside string str. And the string name directly represents the address. So scanf percentage s str itself represents address so str representing address which means directly whatever string that you are entering at runtime will be stored into this okay and the only drawback of uh, scanf statement while working strings uh, is uh, it will terminate reading the characters if it encounters even space. Okay. It means, uh, I'll give you an example here. Suppose if you're uh, giving input at runtime as hello, if you're considering hello as input at runtime. So in this case, uh, it can store hello into str. But uh, if you are considering input like uh, hello space world, this is the string that you are entering at runtime. In that case, uh, it is going to store only hello because whenever it encounters a space like this, it will terminate reading the string. Okay. So that is a problem with a scanf statement while working with strings. So the solution is you can make use of get s function it will read the entire line okay so which means uh, the this type of uh, drawback will not be seen 
in the getS function. So let's uh, see how this getS can be used in order to uh, read the string. Okay. So consider the same example of uh, car str of uh, 10. Now you can prompt the user to basically enter the string. Okay. So enter any string. After entering the string, now you are storing the string inside str using getS. This is the syntax of the getS function. So it will read the entire string. Even if you are giving or supplying uh, input as uh, hello space world, okay. So it will read the entire string, okay. And it will get terminated whenever it encounters a null character, not space, okay. So this is how you can make use of uh, get s. Now let's see how you can make use of uh, get char in order to uh, read the entire string. Okay. So if you consider concept of get char or get ch, so since uh, these functions are basically used to read only character, only one character. If you repeat this same thing inside a loop, it will be able to read the entire string or entire line, isn't it? So let us consider an example where I can use this uh, get char in order to read the entire string. So I'll take a loop variable here initially, i equal to zero, and then uh, I'll consider uh, character data type, okay, which is a string here char str of 10 comma ch okay now using uh, get char we are reading into this particular character okay get char of ch so we are reading the character into ch here now using while loop uh, we can iterate like this while this character is not equal to null character, so till it reaches null character, you can keep on uh, getting the character and storing it into str, which is a string. So I'll store the existing character ch into the string where exactly i index is representing. So str of i is equal to ch. And after that, we will increment i value. So i plus plus, it will increment i value. And then uh, in order to get another character, we can uh, use get ch of ch or get char of ch. Anything is fine. So using which you can read another character. And one more thing is uh, here, after uh, storing the entire character, you have to basically store the null character in the ending position explicitly. So for this purpose, we can use str of i is equal to null character. So null character must be stored at the end explicitly because uh, you are storing uh, the character by character into the string, right? So explicitly I'm assigning null character so that it represents the end of the string. Okay, so this is how you can use get char in order to basically read the string. Now coming to displaying the string. So whenever you want to display the entire string, you can make use of uh, these functions. So starting with uh, printf function, you can use this printf function in order to display the string. So second one is uh, putS function. Using putS also you can display. And third one is uh, putCar. Using putCar you can actually display character by character. Okay. So let us uh, see this uh, example. 
okay first uh, i'll show you how you can display using uh, printf and then uh, using put as it is simple okay so let me show you here itself uh, whenever you have uh, some string like uh, car str of uh, 10 equal to hello like this then you can display this hello using printf statement or printf function by just writing printf percentage s str so using which you can display the entire string hello next using put s uh, you can display the entire string by writing put s of str okay you can display here and finally when you want to display using uh, put char so you have to basically iterate uh, character by character okay and display here so one way you can do this is uh, you can actually consider uh, some variable like int i okay and using this loop variable i will iterate through the entire string and display character by character here so while str of i not equal to null character str of i is not equal to null character so in this case we are going to display the str of i so which is uh, put care of uh, str of i we are displaying and later increment i value because uh, first character which is located inside index 0 you have already displayed now move to the second character which is located at index 1 that's why we are incrementing i value by 1 and this will be terminated whenever uh, character is not equal to null character you know the character is not equal to null character okay like this so now i'll show you how to basically uh, read and display the string using uh, get s and put s uh, which is uh, commonly used uh, especially while working with strings uh, here in c so first uh, consider the header file stdio.h now inside the main function we are considering a, a string here char str of 20 okay so now i'll prompt the user to basically enter any string okay and once the user enters a string we have to read that string using get s so get s of str can be used to basically read the string and then uh, now you can uh, display the string here so while displaying you can write like this the string is here you can write uh, put s of str to display okay so let's uh, run this code to see the result enter any string i have entered string is uh, hello and that is what we are getting as yes, output the string is hello okay so like this uh, you can also write some programs related to this getters and putters especially in many websites once you log in okay they will greet you like uh, hello user username will be displayed okay so you can write similar chart related programs here enter your name so once user enters the name okay so then you can start uh, displaying okay some message so this time i'll do like this uh, printf hello 
percentage is how are you in that percentage is I'm going to display this uh, str string okay so let's run this code and see the result enter your name I'm entering name as uh, Surendra and you can see immediately it is displaying hello Surendra how are you okay so like this you can actually ask questions and uh, get the reply from the user and again use that content to ask another question so this type of uh, applications uh, which are uh, chat related applications you can develop with the help of basic uh, get s put s printf these statements okay so now we'll consider uh, a function uh, that is there are several functions uh, that we use in uh, strings uh, and these uh, are commonly used functions uh, we will start with uh, function by function okay so very first function is uh, string length function okay so see here uh, all the built-in functions related to strings are available inside the string.h header file okay string.h header file contains all these built-in functions so whenever you want to use any built-in function then you have to include this header file in the program so there are several functions such as str len function okay so this str len function is used to find the length of the string okay and second one is uh, str cpy function okay so str cpy of s1 comma s2 so this is going to copy string s2 into string s1 okay and then uh, str uh, cmp function of s1 comma s2 so you can't compare two strings directly okay if you want to compare you can make use of str cmp function it will compare whether two given strings s1 and s2 are equal or not so if they are uh, basically equal then it is going to return a uh, uh, zero okay otherwise it will return uh, a non-zero value based on the ASCII difference between the non-matching characters in the strings S1 and S2 and then uh, str CAT okay of S1 comma S2 so this represents a string concatenation so when you perform this string concatenation S1 will now contain uh, S1 plus S2 that is concatenated string of S1 and S2 and there is no change in string S2 so these are all uh, fundamental okay string functions uh, and fifth one is uh, str rev function okay of a string S this is going to reverse the given string called S okay it will reverse the given string S now let us consider uh, str uh, alien function and now let's see how this str alien function can be used okay while working with the string related programs so first one is uh, you must know the syntax of str alien function so this str alien function is going to return an integer value because uh, it is going to identify the length of the string so here since uh, it is uh, returning length of the string returns string length whatever string name that you are giving its corresponding length will be obtained here and then uh, int str alien of uh, str okay so 
we are finding the length of the string str and str ln function is going to return the length of the string. So let us suppose uh, I am considering an example here. So consider uh, a string like this car f name is equal to so I am considering a name like Bob. Okay. Now I am applying this string length function by using a variable called length. So int length is equal to str len of f name. So using which uh, you can identify the length of the string. Now you can observe how many characters are there inside this uh, string. There are three characters. So this function is going to return value of 3 to variable length. And finally, if you print length, you will see output as 3. Okay. So this is how you can make use of uh, str alien function. Okay. So let's work with uh, this particular str alien function now. So first, uh, you need to make use of uh, string dot h header file here. And also, after uh, reading the entire string and now we want to basically find the length of the string so i'll go for a variable called length okay and using this variable i will find the length of the string using str alien function so length is equal to str alien of string str so where you can identify the length of the string and you can store that inside a variable called length. And finally you can display like this. Uh, length of string. Length of string is uh, percentage D because uh, length is measured using uh, integer. Okay. Length of the string uh, is uh, using this variable length. You can display the length of the string here. Now let us run this code and see the result. Enter your name. Okay. So let us suppose uh, I am entering my name here. And you can observe length of the string is 8. Because uh, this name contains a total of 8 characters. So this will display length of the string as 8. Okay. And in fact, uh, you can write here, enter any string you want. Okay. Then it will immediately find uh, the length of that particular string. So this time I'm going to enter another string like uh, hello world. And you can observe length of the string is 11 because hello contains five characters and world contains uh, five characters total of five plus five, 10. And there is one space between this. So total 11 characters are there. Okay. And now many times uh, they'll ask you to basically find the length of the string without using uh, string.h header file. Okay. So which means uh, without using this string.h header file, you have to count manually character by character how many characters are there in the string okay so if this is the case uh, then you are not going to use uh, str alien function because uh, without uh, string dot h header file str alien function will not work if you want i can give you a try so you can see it is producing an error because uh, str alien was not declared in this scope as string dot h header file contains the complete meaning and expansion of uh, str alien function okay so that's why you can't use right now okay now the idea is to identify the length of the string and display 
So I have taken a variable called length is equal to 0 and also I'll consider another variable i in order to write a for loop to iterate through the entire string str and identify the number of characters in this particular string. So i equal to 0 and we can write str of i not equal to null character and then i plus plus. Okay. So every time you have to basically count how many characters are there inside this string. So for this we are considering a variable called length, length plus plus using length we have updated okay or identified the length of the string and then we are displaying length as output okay. So let us run this code and see the result enter any string so this time we are entering any any string like uh, consider hello is the string and you can display length of the string is 5 here okay and also remember the length of this string is different from size of the string okay so if I observe here Okay, or I apply the entire uh, concept of uh, strlen. So by including the string dot h header file, and I'll show you that uh, this size of is different from uh, strlen function. So string dot h header file I have used, and consider a sample string like uh, str of twenty is equal to uh, hello. Okay. Now, I am considering a printf, okay, str alien, okay, a result, clear? So, how do you get str alien result? Simply by applying str alien of str. And similarly, you can also print okay size of result here we can write size of str okay so we are identifying the size of this string okay so let's run this code and see the result okay oh we have to use here uh, again uh, percentage D to display because uh, it is going to return an integer value right yeah. so percentage D has to be used and you can see length of this string str alien result is 5 and size of result is 20 so if you want uh, you can use uh, a new line here and you can see the result str alien result is 5 it represents length of the string in hello is 5 size of result is 20 why because you have allocated 20 contiguous memory locations for this particular string called str that's why size is going to be 20 but length of the string is how many characters are stored okay so there are five characters that are stored here so that's why you will get result as 5 okay now what happens when I remove this uh, index that is uh, generally whenever you are not specifying the size of this string but you are uh, clearly showing the string which is compile time initialization so in that case it will count number of characters in this string and store the result. So here there are totally five characters which means it will allocate five contiguous memory locations uh, to store okay in this case uh, you can observe uh, str alien result is 5 but size of result is 6 why because uh, so the total size allocated will be 6 okay for first five locations for this and there will be null character also that's why the total size allocated for the string str is uh, 6 whereas uh, 
if you count the number of characters here 1 2 3 4 5 there are clearly five characters in the string okay so that is the basic difference between strlen and uh, size of uh, okay like this